China's Linglong One is about to be completed, which can change the world's nuclear energy structure. Is the status of the U.S. nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in danger? Let's take a closer look in this video. As we all know, aircraft carriers serve as maritime combat platforms. For countries that want to enhance their maritime deterrence, aircraft carriers are definitely necessary. But to build an aircraft carrier requires a lot of manpower and material resources. Therefore, not every country can have it if it wants to. It takes a long period of precipitation and accumulation before it can be realized. And China has a remarkable representativeness in the development of aircraft carriers. In recent years, China has also accelerated the development of aircraft carriers. Now China has three aircraft carriers. This is also a considerable achievement, and it is also of great significance to China's realization of a maritime power. For Chinese military fans at this stage, China's nuclear-powered aircraft carrier is what they miss most. And many of China's current technological breakthroughs seem to be preparations for nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. For example, China's Linglong-1 nuclear reactor has a power output comparable to that of the Nimitz class in the United States. So can a Linglong-1 be installed on an aircraft carrier, thereby shaking the status of the U.S. aircraft carrier? What significance does it have for China's development? In recent years, the multifunctional small pressurized water reactor Linglong-1, nuclear island independently developed by CNNC, has officially started construction. That is, the installation project of the core plant of the reactor, which also marks that the Linglong-1 nuclear reactor project has officially entered the stage of hard installation. Perhaps in the near future, the construction work will be officially completed and put into use. Speaking of the Linglong-1 nuclear reactor, it can be said that it is the nuclear energy project that many netizens and military fans are most concerned about. Linglong-1 was developed by China National Nuclear Corporation. It is a multifunctional modular small pressurized water reactor with completely independent intellectual property rights in China. This is another major achievement of independent innovation after the Hualong-1 nuclear power reactor. At the same time, Linglong-1 is also the world's first commercial modular small reactor, which is suitable for various places such as islands, mining areas, and high-energy consuming enterprises. For many military enthusiasts, Linglong-1 has a close relationship with China's nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. At the beginning of the establishment of the Linglong-1 project, many Chinese netizens believed that it could be applied to the power system of an aircraft carrier, allowing China to have the first aircraft carrier with nuclear power configuration. This is also the picture that many Chinese have been waiting for for a long time. Due to the long battery life of a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, in theory it only needs to replace the nuclear fuel every 20 or 30 years, and it can sail for decades without docking. It is a well-deserved artifact of ocean warfare. The United States also relies on the huge size of 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers to become the absolute ceiling of global naval combat power. This also makes countless Chinese people place high hopes on nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. But for nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, the most important thing is the nuclear reaction system. As for China's nuclear reactor, the one most likely to become an aircraft carrier power plant is the Linglong-1, built by China National Nuclear Corporation. The size and output power of Linglong-1 can fully meet the standards of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, which also makes many scholars and experts believe that Linglong-1 
is the best choice for the nuclear power system of China's domestic aircraft carriers. So how powerful is the Linglong-1 nuclear reactor? Is it really feasible for Chinese aircraft carriers to use it as a power plant? In fact, China's Linglong-1 nuclear reactor has powerful performance, and its power output has surpassed that of the Nimitz aircraft carrier of the United States. Judging from the data, Linglong-1 is a small reactor with a modular design. It is small in size, with a height of no more than 14 meters and a width of less than 10 meters, much smaller than the engines of conventionally powered aircraft carriers. Its footprint is also minimized, and its volume can be carried on an aircraft carrier. However, although Linglong-1 is small in size, its output power is very powerful. Two Linglong-1 nuclear reactors can provide a propulsion power of 280,000 horsepower, which can directly propel a 100,000 tons aircraft carrier. It is more powerful than the nuclear power system of the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier. It is understood that the two A4W reactors used by the U.S. Nimitz-class aircraft carrier can output a maximum of 260,000 horsepower. The power of the dual reactors of Linglong-1 can reach 280,000 horsepower, and its performance is directly comparable to that of the most advanced Ford-class aircraft carrier in the United States. But whether it can surpass the Ford-class aircraft carrier depends on the speed at which China's comprehensive technological level improves. After all, all kinds of high technology in the United States are the results of research and development of the world's top research and development teams. As a country catching up from behind, China has been catching up quickly and has developed rapidly in electromagnetic catapults the internal structure of aircraft carriers and automatic control systems. If China can realize the support of nuclear power in the future, coupled with the improvement of the comprehensive level of various functions and the power of weapons, it is expected to catch up with the level of the U.S. aircraft carrier. However, according to the analysis of many Chinese netizens, this wish may not be realized until around the middle of this century at the earliest. The most powerful nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in the world today is the only Ford-class aircraft carrier in the United States. This is a giant aircraft carrier with a displacement of 120,000 tons and can carry more than a 100 carrier-based aircraft. The Ford class adopts a variety of high-tech construction methods such as the use of stealth paint, painting the aircraft carrier shell, and even achieves the stealth ability that makes it difficult for marine radars to track its traces, forming a ghostly navigation effect on the sea. And when the satellite radar caught him, it was probably already in front of the enemy. Therefore, the combat power of the Ford aircraft carrier is very terrifying. To be honest, it will take at least several decades for China to catch up to this level. After all, China has only built a few aircraft carriers and the tonnage is relatively small. It is necessary to build a giant aircraft carrier of more than 100,000 tons, which still requires practice and self-breakthrough. After all, the workload of building an aircraft carrier is very large. The length of the laid wires alone is thousands of kilometers, which is only one in a thousand of the complex facilities on the entire aircraft carrier. And there are millions of components on the entire aircraft carrier, so it is also very difficult to overhaul all the components. That's why there are more complex electronic controls and self-checking systems, etc. Instruments can be used for detection and early warning among many parts, and a signal reminder will be sent in case of failure. Moreover, the overall division and layout of the aircraft carrier are also very complicated. 
Therefore, China's aircraft carrier construction level still has a long way to go to surpass the United States. The Linglong-1 project is scheduled to be completed and put into operation in 2026, with an annual power generation capacity of 1 billion kilowatt-hours, which can meet the electricity demand of more than 500,000 households in Hainan province, China. In addition, as a clean energy source, once Linglong-1 starts operation, it is expected to reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 880,000 tons per year, which is equivalent to planting more than 7 million trees every year. In 2016, Linglong-1 passed the IAEA General Reactor Safety Certification which is also the world's first certified advanced small reactor technology. And Linglong-1 is also suitable for a variety of long-term energy supplies, which cannot be replaced by large nuclear power units. Therefore, Linglong-1 can not only be used as a supplement to the power load demand of industrial countries, but also meet the power demand of many developing countries whose power grids cannot carry large capacity units. It can be said that the construction of the Linglong-1 demonstration project has expanded the application field and scope of nuclear energy in China and the world. Linglong-1 is also actively responding to the Belt and Road Initiative, promoting small modular reactors to the world. At present, China National Nuclear Corporation has begun to actively expand the international small reactor market and has also carried out small reactor cooperation negotiations with Pakistan, Iran, the United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, Brazil and other countries and initiated many project cooperation. Finally, it is worth mentioning that Linglong-1 is just the beginning. The goal of China's comprehensive development of new energy nuclear power goes far beyond this. For China, Linglong-1 is only a part of the industrialization of integrated small reactors. In addition to Linglong-1, China has initiated two other important nuclear energy development efforts. One is the energy supply of ocean islands. The development of floating nuclear power plants is of great significance to China's strengthening of national defense and the development of marine economy. The other is that the swimming pool is a low-temperature heating reactor, which is mainly aimed at the implementation of winter heating projects in northern cities in China and will play an important role in eliminating smog and protecting the environment in China. Today, the major participating countries in the field of nuclear energy are all developing towards high-end nuclear energy. Therefore, in order to lead the development of nuclear technology in the world, China must strengthen its technical research capabilities and innovation level. China is gradually improving its construction technology in various nuclear energy fields, and it is also constantly accumulating strength. We sincerely hope that in the future, China can start building its own nuclear-powered aircraft carrier as soon as possible, so as to increase the power of the Chinese Navy in the ocean. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.